good morning all of you so today we'll discuss the numericals on the rotational emf and induced electric field constant so so first we'll already we have discussed previous class the rotational emf that one rod rotating manifold we'll take the applications of that like motion emf we went for application similarly the rotational emf then in the end we'll discuss the theoretical ideas on the induced electric field okay we'll continue with this one so from previous class rod rotated in a uniform magnetic field I'll, I'll rotate this rod in a <coughs> uniform magnetic so first uh, different shape of rods previous class we took only it was horizontal no okay now the shape of the rod is will be different how to calculate that net emf induced look at the shape of the rod so i should go for effective length here so in all the cases what is emf induced will be b omega you have to just search the effective length between the ends o and d so suppose this is e o e in all the cases what is the effective length when you move from o to a will become equal to l no, don't write here pi r or something and here what we did for motion emf the similar approach what you can develop here the reason for that any charge present here any charge present here it get drifted no and what is the effective length will become equal to l then after the which end will be positive so again take help of b bar into the plane how the tangential velocity of any point will be downward because it is given clockwise angular velocity look at angular velocity here it is clockwise so b bar the pointing finger b bar and tangential velocity of any point will be directed vertically down thumb will point towards right so therefore this end will be positive so can you replace this with an equivalent cell as it is so it is equivalent to as effective length again you you look at the charge particle present at o it will get drifted no so what is the net displacement of the charge particle from o to e will be equal to l only again go back to the same formula e, what we got electric field e equal to v into b then e equal to dv by dr what is dr dr should be the effective length integral of dr will be r dr no there you have to put effective length here or else take that cross product scalar cross product one use that formula and integrate you'll get the same answer and now uh, what about the ring in this case so let d be the effective distance now from the rod no i'll come to the different shaped loops here what is the emf induced in all these cases all they are rotated about an axis horizontal axis passing through o passing through point o this one with an angle of omega net emf induces oab will become semicircle ocb will become semicircle then net emf induces so this is the first diagram i'm showing it so it is equivalent to circuit of like this this is eoab and this is 
EOCB. And what about the magnitude of EOB equal to EOCB? It should be equal to B omega d square by 2. Net EMF induced in the loop 1. EOB minus EOCB. Why negative? Because when you start from, you go around like this. You trace the loop. Plus EOB minus EOCB equal to 0, no? So this, therefore, the EMF induced, this will be 0. Similar method you can apply it here also. So what is the EMF induced in all the loops? Net EMF induced will be 0. What about potentials? Can we say anything about potential? So this ring is rotating, no? Can we say anything about potential? <coughs> we know B is the tire potential. Uh -huh. This is B, uh, E, O, B. Let it be. O and B are the opposite ends, diametrical opposite ends I taken. Uh, can you say anything about potential? V, B, no, not velocity, uh, potentials. Uh, so regarding potentials. VB greater than VA and VA greater than VO and VA equal to VC. Potentials with respect to O, we are comparing this one. This is, I'll shade it. So different shaped loops will be different shaped rods, different shaped loops will come, numericals will come. So just take the effective length. Net EMF induced here will be zero. This you have to take care. This is very important. 